for the Mo, I think we're gonna call it the Big Gun Shootout. Cause we got a new Harley Davidson breakout and we got a Victory Gunner, two big twins. We got 16 inch guns of the USS Iowa. Tom's got some big guns too, we'll get to that later. No, not really. We got the, uh, the new Harley Davidson breakout. Uh, it's got a 1690cc motor, uh, the 103, B twin cam, uh, and we brought along the Victory Gunner, which is like uh, 106 cubic inch, like all like all the Victory. Yeah, so it's already outgunning the Harley a little bit by <laughs> three cubic. Oh, I know, I like that, huh? <laughs> uh, for these kind of bikes, kind of urban trawlers, urban ships, they're kind of big. They're not small. Harley weighs like 700 pounds. That one's not not much lighter, so they're kind of big bikes for big, big burly guys. But they're tons of torque, huh? They both make like almost 90 foot pounds of torque well, this guy at only 3,000 RPM. We that measured like, this guy just a tad under 100, yeah, yeah. and the Harley was about 10 less. 80s yeah. or something, I think. Well, they certainly look cool uh, for your urban, you know, bar to bar, ice cream shop to ice cream shop type riding. Uh, I think the Harley looks a little cooler than the victory. I noticed this morning riding over to here, I went by the courthouse and there's all the people trying to get in for their early early morning traffic court. <laughs> and I think I turned the corner, but I was like, ooh, what's that cool sounding bike? And I shifted gears and it made this loud kank. <laughs> and everybody, I think, scratched their head going, what's wrong with that guy's motorcycle? No, but they are, they are cool looking. It kind of depends upon what your personal definition of cool is. If you like big silver metal flake, it's pretty cool. Well, if you're into saving some cash, this one's definitely cool. Yeah, that one's definitely cool. There's a big <laughs> price difference. About five thousand dollars cooler. Big price difference. So I guess we're, there's nothing for us to do but to ride around a little bit and get some more impressions of these things. It's a nice day for a ride. It always is in California. It's because the Big Gun Tour is now in progress. Anything about the breakout today in the gunner? What do you think? Which one do you like? I like them both, John. I would be probably, to get right down in the nitty gritty, I'd be a little bit hard pressed to pay that much more money for the breakout over the victory. Like $12,999 versus like 19000 something with the cool with the, yeah, candy. The paint. the paint looks nice right now with the sun setting though, doesn't it? Oh, it's beautiful. And I think that also is kind of what's going to be divisive between the two is you're going to be sort of attracted to this, you know, uh, uh, toned down victory with the, you know, the green and the black and the black wheels and, you know, it, it's very not look at me type of motorcycle where the Harley's much more like, hey, check me out, I'm here, I'm cool. So, you know, some guys are gonna like this, some guys are gonna like that. One thing I can say for sure though, and which is uh, something you can't often say about Harleys and shootouts, is you get into the spec sheet, and this Harley actually has one-tenth more travel in the rear suspension than that Victory does. We got three inches there and 3.1 here. So, after riding them today, actually you can say that they're pretty equal in terms of uh, ride quality, you know, cornering, just suspension in general. I was real happy with the way the breakout held itself, especially for being 700 pound motorcycle. Yeah, yeah, they, they, they actually worked pretty okay. They got kind of road hugging weight. It seems like they smother bumps. Uh, but, but, but when it comes when it come down for me though, I think I like the I like the the victory a little better, uh, just because of its 
ergonomic let layout, it feels like it fits me a little better as a smaller guy. This is one of the Harleys that I, I, I traded the, the Street 750 in for that. And as soon as I got on it, I felt kind of inadequate again, you know? This feels like it's a motorcycle for a really big guy. I got to really reach to the bars, the flat bar on there, and the, the foot pegs are pretty far forward on that. On, on the Gunner, it's not quite so extreme. This one fits me better. Also, it doesn't have the huge back tire, so it steers easier and quicker. That thing, you kind of have to, have to wrestle into the corners a little bit to make it turn with a 240 tire. Well, I was going to say, it has to be even a bigger guy than me because, you know, I'm just a smidge under six foot, and I still, after a while, this reach out to the bars, it just gets kind of old. Yeah, yeah, and to, the and to the foot pegs for me. Yeah, this was a far more, just more ergonomically comfortable motorcycle. Yeah. And like we were talking about the handling, you know, if you had this thing, you're gonna get used to the rear tire and it's just gonna be second nature, but I'll tell you, man, jumping off and onto these bikes, Every time I get onto this, it's like, oh my God, the amount of pressure you have to exert to get this thing to turn a corner correctly. It, it's exercise, you know, compared to the Victory. It doesn't, it doesn't look as cool, the Victory, from the rear end. I mean, you know, I love riding behind here. You're looking at that fat tire like, that's pretty badass. Yeah, I think to, to me, I was kind of thinking as we're cruising along, uh, one, one bike's good for, for looking at would be the Harley, because it does beautiful paint. The chrome is, you know, they. They, they do the chrome and stuff better than anybody does, Harley. And the black chrome on the headlight, the black chrome handlebar, it's all really beautifully put together. Even up on the handlebar clamp, it's got those LED lights, your yeah. dummy lights I mean, yeah. integrated into it. That's, I, mean, I like that. If you're one of those guys that likes to polish up your bike and look at it, you know, it's good. And the, the Gunner's more, this is more extrovert, this is more kind of an, an introvert bike. And it's reflected in the price. I mean, it's the, everything here is kind of flat, flat tone paint and uh, it's not as classy as the Harley but I kind of gravitate toward not quite so extravagant you know my own a man of simple tastes right you know what I mean uh, one thing I guess we could say that's included in the price of the Harley though is the uh, ABS brakes where we don't have that that's the true no, not just the ABS but but they did uh, upgrade the brakes at both ends of the big twins this year maybe not all the big twins but this one's got a better brake and uh, people who think that one, one disc breaking enough should try that one because it stops hard. Performance-wise, power-wise, I mean, you've got a you know three cubic inch larger displacement engine, but I mean, this thing's still putting out about 20 more horsepower uh, and at least 10 foot-pounds of torque. So you know, if you do like that sort of you know strong engine performance, you're definitely going to like the way the Victory. Yeah, it's got it's got more power for sure. You can feel the more power. And uh, the fact that it, it all, next to the Harley with that big back tire, it almost feels like a sport bike, kind of. You know, when you jump on it after an FZ07, you're like, oh, it's a big, heavy, long thing, but, you know, it's all relative, isn't it? It feels pretty sporty around town and stuff compared to the, to the, uh, to the break, breakout. It's not exactly new anymore, is it? It's been, the 106 has been around for a while. Maybe it's time now that they've put so much uh, attention into the Indian lineup, maybe they'll upgrade it a little bit. But, you know, as it is, it still feels pretty, pretty powerful and pretty torquey, even though they haven't really upgraded the thing in quite some time. All right, so this is the big gun shootout, it looks like. We started out at the USS Iowa this morning under the watchful eye of the 16-inch, what are those called? Cannons. Naval I don't think they're cannons. I think I, I think they're guns if they're on a boat. They don't they don't they, they get upset if you call them cannons, I believe. What more can you say really? We had a pretty good day riding around on these. They're good bikes for the kind of city where trains, dodging trucks in the port of Long Beach and all that. Still able to touch both feet down even if you're a short guy. And uh, this is about as good as they get for around town, you know, or urban trawlers. Uh, read the whole thing. The specifications, a little more information, CJ's beautiful photography at Motorcycle.com.